last video that I totally botched really bad. Like, I terribly... That video was horrible. You've been too horrible. I botched, it wasn't that bad. I botched the video really, really bad. Mind you what you say, but we're going to talk about the NFL free agency. Once again, second try, NFL free agency. What we've been, like, us as football fans and every football fan in America, what we all have been doing for the past last, I think, since Tuesday. Sweating bullets over who's going to get traded, trade blocks, re-signings, all the craziness that comes Surprise along with... Surprise retirements. Surprise retirements and everything that comes along with being an NFL fan. This is what we're going to talk about, NFL free agency, right now. Go. <laughs> Wait. Okay, um, um, you know, as of uh, today, uh, DeMarco Murray signed a uh, five-year deal, uh, $40 million with uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, or as he called them, uh, the shit-stained shiggles. Uh, DeMarco Murray is now uh, Mr. I consider him overrated, but, you know, other people think differently. Overrated DeMarco Murray is now, um, you know, he did a backstabbing betrayal snitch. I almost said the N-word, uh, snitch stuff that he, uh, did. He, uh, signed with the, uh, rival team being in the Philadelphia Now, as far as what I think about this pickup, is I think it's good and bad on one part. DeMarco Murray was good last year, but the offensive lineman of the Dallas Cowboys provided good space for him. Is, do I think DeMarco Murray is every down back? Yes, but no at the same time. But look, Ryan Matthews coming in, and I'm already having Darren Sproles. I think that will work out for him. I mean, but with the up, the up tempo style, I don't see how it's gonna work with Demarco Murray's downhill downhill style. I don't see how that. What, what you think? Uh, with, with, with the Eagles, um, I don't like. I don't really think much of it. I don't take Demarco. I mean, even though he had a great season last. Uh, year, I don't really, I don't take that much consideration to DeMarco Murray. For some reason, I just don't. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, the, the dude, I'm not. I mean, he was a good back. I remember, I remember <laughs> when he was in Oklahoma in college, he was a good back. But I don't see the whole big franchise back. I don't see him being a every down back, all, all in, him or nothing. And the Eagles... I don't know how they're going to create a passing game. We don't have any receivers left. Jerry Macklin's gone. Last year, Deshaun Jackson. What they going to throw it to Riley Cooper and a kid from Oregon, Matthews. That's the only thing I can see. Unless they're going to pick up some guys in the draft. I don't see them doing it. Um, Let me check out some more uh, NFL free agency uh, news that I've been looking at um, today. Let's see here. What else? Oh, oh, also, you know, free agencies that, um, well, free agents that we, uh, still have on the market, um, I think we have, uh, who do we have? We have, uh, Brian Arapro, I'm sorry, Brian Arapro, uh, Greg Hardy, you know, Greg Hardy, um, uh, Percy Harvin, uh, Nick Ferry, uh, Derek Morgan, um, I said Brian Arapro, um, Michael Crabtree, C.J. Spiller, and Charles Clayton. Where do you think any of these uh, guys going to potentially land? Or a possibility? Because, you know, they got Percy Harvin. They got either uh, Buffalo or New England. He could possibly go there. Everybody else is pretty blank. They have, um, uh, what what else? Um, Derek Morgan, Dallas or Atlanta. I don't want them in Atlanta. Um, you know, Crabtree, no teams. No teams interested in Crabtree. Well, he has nothing underneath there. They got C.J. Spiller. Philly, I don't think Philly need a, another running back. They have, you know, DeMarco Murray. Um, Ryan Matthews. Uh, so, you know, for C.J. Spiller, they have um, the Eagles, uh, Cowboys, New England. Uh, who else is that there? New Orleans and the Jets and uh, Charles Clayton. Um, Buffalo and Cleveland. As far as Michael Crabtree, Michael Crabtree is an okay receiver. 
He had a lot of drop balls last year and since that ACL tear. No, no, no. According to 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 my man, um, you know, um, Richard Sherman. No, Crabtree is sorry. Crabtree's a sorry receiver, but go on and talk about Michael Crabtree. First sorry. One. Talk about talk about Michael Crabtree. First of all, sorry, sorry, Michael Crabtree. First of all, that happened two years it. ago, and that's hey, hey, that was what Richard Sherman said. It ain't no big deal. Empire, we ain't ready. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't really studying the Seattle Seahawks and Jimmy Graham coming there and whatnot. Thanks a lot, New Orleans, you idiots, for trading one of the best tight ends in the game to Seattle for basically nothing. Hope that first round pick work out for you, even though it's a thirty first. First round pick was technically in the second round. It depends how you look at it. I don't think the draft is in particularly that deep, but it is what it is. Still like burning the Saints for some reason. But tell I mean, if we move away from Mike Crabtree, Rick Bringer and Smith from Baltimore Ravens, he can stretch out the field for Kaepernick, and that's what we need. I hope we get another receiver in the draft. Let's go get Amari Cooper. Kevin White, I don't know if I want Kevin White. Kevin White reminds me a lot, a lot of Tavon Austin. And Tavon Austin is a good player. He's good on special teams, but I don't ever think. I don't think Tavon Austin can ever be a number one receiver. Uh, we was talking about Michael Crabtree. Crabtree's <laughs> going. I'm not worried about that. The best luck to Michael Crabtree and his next outlook on his career. Houston Texans. Buffalo Bills, something like that. Maybe even the Carolina Panthers. We don't need them. Okay, speaking of uh, Carolina Panthers, where do you think Greg Hardy is going to land and, um, you know, who he's going to sign with or where do you think he's going to wind up at? at the, they really don't have any listing for Greg Hardy as far as teams. That's at the end of the day, RGM, the San Francisco 49ers, they say they had no interest in him. So, at the end of the day, I think he's going to wind back up in Carolina. Let's go to Raiders or something. That debacle. No disrespect. Well, all disrespect to the Raiders fans and Raider Nation. But I think he ended up somewhere like that. Oh, and also Raiders. Don't you get DeMarco Murray. Also Raiders. I, I thought, thought you guys get Dominic Sue. See it happen. Nobody won't come to, nobody won't come to Raiders. Nobody. Let's see. Brandon Browner. What did Brandon Browner? I think... I think it might be a he Saint. in New Orleans Saints. Oh, the New Orleans Saints. I seen the New Orleans Saints fans. Oh, I hate talking about the Saints. Uh, I seen the New Orleans Saints fans on Twitter talking about, oh, Brandon Browner. Like, it was like it's such a big-ass deal. But uh, Brandon Browner, um, yeah, he uh, signed with the Saints. Brandon Brown is a good player, but he is a corner. I mean, we don't know how good he is. He always had, he had Richard Sherman, who's a great corner. And he had Darrell Rivas last year. We don't know if Brandon Brown can stay on his own. I don't know who the New Orleans Saints corners really even is. I mean. Man, nobody don't know New Orleans Saints. I mean. It, <laughs> it, it's something there, but I don't think signing that guy as your number one corner is the best idea. Uh, what do you think of Dominic Sue? you know, going to Miami? Miami for it's, it's 114 a Million dollars and sixty million dollars guaranteed. Um, he could man, he could buy a lot of food with that. A very, very, very rich man. It's a good deal, but you gotta really look at it like this. It's a good deal, not so much financially. Good deal for us, Miami, bringing some some of a of a star. Really, I mean, cause to me, Miami always had this thing on where they like a. They're a one-horse pony. They have, what, Cameron Wake on their defense. I think Randy Starks is gone, but Sue's going to fill that. I think the AFC East will be interesting this year. I don't know if anybody going to dethrone the New England freaking Patriots. But thank you, Patriots, for, you know, stopping Seattle from winning that back-to-back -back Super Bowl. But I don't know if anybody's going to be thrown now. Because it all didn't happen like that before. Buffalo had broken people. New England can just draft some six-rounders, and they can catch Super Bowl game-saving interceptions. I don't, I, don't, I don't think... I think the Miami Dolphins, at best record next year, is going to be 
seven and nine or eight and eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what are I don't your, see um, the Bills getting any better either. What are your thoughts on uh, as you call him, Fail Revis going back to the Jets? <laughs> Darrell Revis <laughs> uh, <laughs> going back to the Jets. Darrell Revis um, going to the Jets will be kind of interesting. I think the, I think the Jets will be the most team to compete with the New England Patriots that like have it. They have done in the past, but I don't really see. I don't really see what's on the offense. Gotta see what's on the offense first. Um, hey, who else do we got to talk about here in uh, free agency? I'm trying to see if there's any other stories out there that I, you know didn't botch all over yesterday. Cause uh, God, God, I botched that stuff yesterday. Uh, what about your current state of your um? You know, of your San Francisco 49ers, uh, your Frisco Niners, uh, them, like, the your current thoughts on uh, Frisco in general. You know, because we already know that, you know, that kind of, you know, they went crazy the other day like it was a damn office. Like, ah, oh, everybody, trade folks, retirement, uh, he ain't coming back. Everybody started going ballistic and, you know, acting crazy or some just damn crazy. Now, if you would ask me that on Monday, yeah. I would have had a whole different reaction. I mean, after losing Gore to the Colts, thank you, 21, hashtag. Thank you, Frank, hashtag. It's not, it's like Frank, You, I mean, a lot of our fans is upset about that. But as I, as I looked at it, is a year ago we drafted Carlos Hyde. A year before that, we drafted Marcus Lattimore, who haven't done anything. And we got Kendall Hunter. And yeah. in some reports, we're going to get Reggie Bush. Now, I don't see why we bring in Bush. When Bush and, hey, I'm a USC fan, too. So, I mean, I, I like that. But Bush gave him the past him by. He ain't got the same quick feet they had once we had in New Orleans. I don't really see what's the point of bringing or even give him a damn conversation, I hate bulky. Bush. I don't. I mean, I don't get it. But... Yeah. I think, well, I think, I think my whole, look, how, how I picture it is, we got a young talent, we draft good, Chris Borland's last year, Carlos Hyde last year, I think we draft well, I don't think we're getting much out of free agency at this point because cat room issues and stuff, and I think next year with Justin Smith possibly gone, and with Patrick Willis gone, and with Frank the Tank going all around Indianapolis. Indianapolis, by the way, good deal for Frank, but Andre Johnson, I mean, come on. I mean, how old, how old, how many old weapons you going to get? And I don't think Frank is washed up at all, but I don't really see a $12 million deal for a 32-year-old running back. I don't see how that's going to actually play out. I just, I'm just curious. But as far as I feel about it is we got a lot of competition in the NFC West. But mm -hmm. with our good drafting and with Cap actually getting rid of Frank Gore, hope they'll open up the offense more with the option we need to get a little bit more runs off. And with Antoine Bolden, and hopefully Vernon Davis have a, a, a return great season, I think we'll be all right. What about uh, what you think about... Uh you know, going up to your arch uh, rivals, arch, you know, nemesis, uh, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, Jimmy Graham, signing with Seattle. Jimmy, damn Graham. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, I, people know how I feel about Jimmy Graham. Uh, for our Seattle, for our Seattle of what they added, what was it was okay. It was cool. It was great. I mean, peak and big magic. But everybody's not breaking down. The, the, the